Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to create an alignment from an object. Some of the base work for a lot of design inside Civil 3D. My name's Eva Helps and I'm with Siler Design Solutions. And here we go. You'll want to go to your ribbon, go to the Home tab, go to the Create Design panel, and click to the arrow to the right and drop down on Alignment. Today we're doing Create Alignment from Objects. You'll select the object you want to create the alignment from. In this case, it's a polyline. You have the option to reverse that in case you want it to go the opposite direction. Notice that the arrow has switched direction there. You can name your alignment. We're just going to go with middle road for this one. You can create a description if you want. And then if you did have a site, you could add it to that site. We're going to stick with the proposed alignment style. There are other options that are default options inside of Civil 3D. Um, we're also going to change the labels to just the major and minor stations. I'm going to leave both these boxes checked, but if you did want to keep the entity that you created it from, you could uncheck that existing entities box. Your alignment is now created. You'll see in the properties dialog box that all the information is in there as far as the alignment goes. You can also go over to your prospector and expand the alignments and see that now you have an alignment inside of there, that middle road that we've already created. As you add more information, whether you create a profile or profile view, uh, you'll see that those options are in there as well and will be underneath that alignment. When you look at your ribbon, you see you have the blue out, um, outline uh, modification tool ribbon of alignments while you have that alignment selected, which allows you to do a number of different edits or commands to that alignment. You can also go to your Project Explorer, your Home tab in the ribbon there and it will pop up and you can see the information for that alignment there as well. You'll see all the different alignments you have inside your drawing. Once you select one of the alignments on that first tab of the Project Explorer, you'll see it lists the stationing and other information regarding that specific station. You can hop over to the alignment entities and see what it's created from. In this case, we have two lines and a curve. You can always right click on anything inside the Project Explorer um, that allows you to and zoom to. It's a little smaller so we can see. You can zoom right to that entity. And it will take you to the entity that you are zooming to inside the drawing. You can do the same with any um, points or stationing or any piece of the alignment that you can right click and do that to inside the Project Explorer. Project Explorer and once that's done you have your alignment and now know how to access that information inside there whether it's through the properties, the prospector inside tool space, or inside the Project Explorer. This blog or others, feel free to shoot an email to us at cadtechnical at silerinst.com or check out our other blogs at siler-ds.com.